the hand tool should be firmly affixed to a desktop or a cherry picker or whatever you're welding on. I use a C-clamp here with my, uh, my stand just to firmly affix my hand tool. I've got a male heater bushing and a female heater bushing. The female is going to heat the outside of the pipe. The male bushing is going to heat the inside of the fitting. Before you turn on the unit, affix these uh, bushings with a fix and screw in the center. My thermostat is set by a flathead screwdriver on this dial. The temperature for polypropylene or PVDF is going to be 260 to 270 degrees C. You have a power source light on the machine. You also have a thermostat light. Once this thermostat light goes out, it's up to temperature. It will cycle on and off as the temperature is governed up and down. Right now we can see that our heating tool is up to temperature, the light went out. I'm going to be welding a piece of pipe to a T. I want to come directly square in on the heater plate, pushing my pipe inside the bushing, and my fitting over the uh, male bushing. Pull it apart and come straight together. Do not quarter turn as you would with a standard PVC joint. That will disturb the weld. Before I start, however, there are a couple of things that have helped me weld. One is to bevel the end of the pipe. By beveling the end of the pipe here, you take off a sharp angle on the pipe. It will easily go into the bushing. It will also find center on the fitting. It will make the weld a little bit better and it will roll back as well. The other thing that I'm going to do is mark my depth on the pipe to the abutment inside the fitting. That will allow me to have a visual so I don't over insert the pipe in the heater bushing. Just take the fitting and measure to the step inside the fitting and make a line right on your pipe to that depth. What you can also do on your fitting is mark an alignment on your fitting with the center line of the pipe. This will allow you to go straight in on your fitting and get the right orientation so you don't roll the fitting one way or the other. Once these two pieces are together you will not be able to make any real significant adjustments during the welding process. <clears throat> One inch pipe in polypropylene, the heating time is 18 seconds. After 18 seconds, I have six seconds to change over or pull the pieces off of the heating mandrel and put them back together and hold them for another 15 seconds. After that 15 seconds, the weld is complete. You can move on to your other weld. The pipe should be cut square with a chop saw or a wheel, PVC wheel cutter, whatever is handy. I'm ready to start my weld. I'm going to usually set up my tool so my pipe is on my right hand. The pipe is going to be a little bit more difficult to push into the heater bushing than pushing the fitting over the heater bushing. So I start my pipe a couple of seconds ahead. I'm not pushing that hard, I'm letting the heat do the work. Once I get a good start on my pipe, I put my fitting in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Pull them apart directly in together, right up to the line, make sure everything is square, hold it there for 15 seconds until the heater or the heated joint cools down. After 15 seconds, your joint is complete. You should see a double bead, one from the pipe, one from the fitting. They both join together and you have a complete joint.